how is it playing with that thing, managing that thing, and yeah. what does it feel like yeah. in there? Are you just trying to get get your yeah. hand out of there? I mean, it has a, it has its pros and cons. Obviously, can't really grab as much or cloth when you tackle, but like as y'all as y'all saw Thursday night, you know, opportunities to punch at the ball help a lot. It's just I've been trying to just I mean I've been having a practice for two weeks now, so I've been kind of used to it, trying to not really have it in my mental as much as playing free. But it's definitely has its pros and cons to it. Yeah, the club. We were saying the other night, the club giveth and the club taketh away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that third down, yeah, <laughs> right. Wanted that one back. Hopefully, have my hand on that, but it is what it is. So you get it wrapped before every practice? Yes, sir. Yeah, I get so it wrapped. After you get to take it off, what would you wear? When you're going to class? Or uh, usually I wear a splint, but my, my hand's at a point where I don't need to wear a splint, so I just kind of let it rock. How long do you think you'll get used to that? The club? Yeah, I would just think it's kind of frustrating because you yeah. can't move your fingers anymore. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I try not to really, like, worry about it as much during the practice. But, I mean, I got used to it probably by, like, the second day of practice, me practicing with it. Is there compared notes with John Copeland either? You have yeah, <laughs> yeah, he was, he was one of the persons I talked like to. Yeah, he was one of the persons I talked to because he had, uh, Hurt his, hand, hurt his hand the same way. But yeah, I talked to him about it and uh, a couple other players. You know, he was Do you have a time frame for getting it off? Uh, hopefully, probably this week going into uh, going into it with a club and next week let the doctor decide how my hand is going. And we can go to something smaller so I can have the rest of my fingers to use. So central potentially? Would be yes, sir. Yep. Is it painful when you hit somebody with the club? No, I mean, my adrenaline is running so I, I don't feel it as much, but definitely when I'm like, taking on blocks or maybe if it hits the ground I'll feel it on my knuckle. I think that's fine. How did you hurt your hand? Yeah, it was um it was team practice and I read a screenplay and came up and tried to punch the ball out and it just broke. Yeah. So every day I'm trying to punch the ball out and just the one day I try to punch it, it just broke. And who what, who were you trying to punch it out? Mario. Okay. Yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah. yeah. Good on good crime. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mario yeah. yeah. uh, what do you remember about the fumble that you did for us the yeah. other night? What do you remember about that play? Can you kind yeah. of take us through? Yeah, I had dropped back, saw the quarterback scramble out, and I saw the ball was in his right hand, so my near arm. So I was like, so I just went in there and tried to punch it out with my hand in there, sticking it. I knew it was out when I hit it. And then thankfully Tri was there. A bunch of us was there to pick up the ball. And so Thursday of course was you know, you all's first chance to really play under that yeah. Jeff Collins defense, like yes, live sir. in real yeah. time. Uh, I know you've probably got the chance to look at it, look yeah. at the film a little bit, but what are some of your first assessments on how you guys were able to, you know, kind of yeah. play free as you guys like to describe? Yeah, I said we we all played good, we all communicated well. It's just little certain stuff you see in games that you don't that you don't see in preseason camp because you don't know exactly what the offense is going to do. But I feel like we communicated well throughout the game, and as the game went on, we got better with whatever. Coach Collins wanted us to do for certain drive or certain plays. And I just feel like we all flew to the ball. And we got a couple missed tackles, but we'll clean that up. And everything just felt smooth. We was all flying to the ball. Is there anything that last season before he left that said, told you, that ended up playing out exactly as he told you in the game of Minnesota? And you thought back and thought, oh, wow, he really knows his stuff. You said set? Yes, Cedric. <laughs> Can you repeat the question? Yeah, is there anything that he told you before he left that ended up playing out exactly like okay. he told you it would? Yeah. Minnesota? I mean, Seth just always told me just, like, you next up, just keep doing what you're doing. Like, he knows I'm a, he always acknowledges me as a great player, and, you know, just if I keep keep my head up, keep my head high, keep focus on what I got to do, and I will be a great player, I'll make great plays. You guys had a lot of uh, swagger, I thought, defensively. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where did that come from? Yeah, I would just say from all the hard work we put in. From workout, from spring ball to winter workouts, summer workouts, fall camp, like our whole off season, we took it serious and we connected as a team. So just playing with confidence and playing as a tight unit definitely helped us play with that swagger. How do you sustain that? We were talking yeah. to you like the South Carolina game last year, defense looked yeah. great many times. Yeah, I guess that mainly starts. I feel like with practice, like practice determine how you play. So we gotta keep believing in ourselves, stay tight, take workout serious, take practice serious every day, and we just gotta keep stacking it. And, Every, everything would go how we want it. Was the biggest any... difference the way the guys played up front they, with their discipline up front and Dez eating up a bunch of blockers, yeah. allowing some of the other guys to make plays? Yeah, I feel like everybody just trusts it. Like, you'll play, everybody's play will come. Everybody has to do their job from a certain play. Maybe Dez might be taking on the block one play, but the next play someone's taking on the block for him. So everybody just got to do their assignments and everything will work. Does the trust, the trust allows you to play freer, obviously. Right? Yes, sir, yeah. How much discernibly quicker are you when you're playing freer yeah. by trusting somebody as opposed yeah. to maybe not trusting Yeah, because 
when you trust someone, you you able to do your job, do what you got to do. But when you thinking about other players and maybe he might not do his job this play and I might have to accompany for him, then that doesn't trust you to play your job first and you're trying to do multiple things at once. Is that anything that y'all talk about, Amari, is that you guys did look fantastic yes, uh, against South Carolina last year and then it did sort of fall yeah. off? Have you, have you guys discussed that among nah, yourselves? No, we, we not really focused on last year. We don't feel like it's the same type of – but we didn't really compare this to the South Carolina game. We just compared it to what we got going on now. So we have a whole new mindset, a whole different everything than last year. So we just got to keep it going. What's the faith in Connor? I mean, I got 100% faith in Connor. Connor is one of the most hardest working guys, has had as many reps in the last two years. But I feel like he's a hard working guy. He get out there and does what he has to do. Like everybody else who's practiced well, get those first team reps that he's getting now. I have 100% faith in Connor. What have you seen so far from Charlotte on film that, that sticks out to you about their offense? Yeah, I'd say they do a lot of uh, misdirection stuff to try to send people one way, move you this way, take, bring it back. But I would say a lot of misdirection stuff. They have a, they have a pretty good bat. So, yeah, yes, sir. We were talking to, to Jeff Collins yesterday, and some of it was about the, that third down package, or that pass rush package where you have Dez and Kamen on one side and then Bo yeah. on the other. And he yeah. was saying he called it psycho. Yeah. Um, like, I mean, for lack of a better description, is that just a fun group to have yeah. out there just saying, you know, go yeah, get it? Yeah, definitely. Those guys are tremendous pass rush. I wish we could have all three of them out the field every down. But that's this amazing group, amazing uh, three players on at the one time, third downs, rush for the offense, opposing offense, quarterbacks. So. Why is psycho an appropriate name for that package? Because <laughs> all them boys go psycho. Dez, <laughs> Dez goes psycho, Bo goes a ruck. Everybody, they, all them boys go psycho. So they're going to go out there and unleash whatever play is going. What did – did Cope have any advice when you went and asked yeah, him for the – I mean, yeah, the, he just he just told me, like, hand placement is going to be important, obviously, because, you know, you can't misplace your hand when you got a club. And he just told me, like, just try not to worry about it as much as keep playing how you play and then just adjust to it, the little minor things that he told me. But he's been great. He, he got surgery too, so he helped me with that as well. Yeah. Yep, yes, sir.